Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel called Tours Excursion by Arta. My name is Oscar and I'm here with a new video. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, support in all these years. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's, let's, let's talk in about uh, five reasons why you shouldn't or you should not move in here to Puerto Vallarta. Don't panic, don't panic. But before, I'm going to give you more information, but before, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Activate all the notifications for get the latest news here in Puerto Vallarta or Nuevo Nayarit. Remember, uh, activate the bell for get all the notifications. And if you want more, there is my social network. I have Instagram, Facebook, and I have TikTok. There is more content over there. So you can check more information on my social network. And if you want to support my work, please scan this QR code or go to them in the video description. There is a link and you can support me um, become a sponsor. Okay. Thank you very much for all your support. Okay. Uh, five reasons that uh, you shouldn't move here to Puerto Vallarta. Reason number one. Um, well, the first reason is the weather. Uh, during five, six months, half of the year, you will find a bad weather here in Puerto Vallarta. And if you are from Canada, this is worse for you because I think Canada is, is coldest than America. But um, there is an issue with the weather here. Right now we have in May and it's like, a, well, science COVID change everything because the humans almost moved during one year and the second year was more movement of the humans and I think it's affected the, the, the weather but here in Puerto Vallarta the weather starts like changing like in April actually <clears throat> all the uh, farmers market here in the area ends in on April it's from November to April why because the weather is amazing there is no rains um, it's still fresh or cold, even for, for locals are cold, for, for you from Canada or from the US, it's fresh. But for us, it's like, okay, this is our weather, it's coming like, um, uh, it's more like it for us. It's, the weather is similar to Florida, maybe, and it's not dry, uh, it's a lot of humidity, and there is three months that is lots of humidity, lots of raining, August, uh, September, and October. Those months are considered hurricane season. More, it's, there's more chances to uh, hit some hurricanes on October. Only two hurricanes hit here in Puerto Vallarta, Kena, like 18 years ago, and the last year, um, Nora, okay? And Nora don't hit like Kena, Nora hits more um, part of the uh, south of the coast and affected uh, the rivers on the mountains and that's why Puerto Vallarta overflowed. With the rainy season, with the bad weather came rainy season and in Puerto Vallarta there is a lot of uh, flooded streets, over flooded streets. That's happened on the downtown and why, and that's why a bridge collapsed on the Cuala River killing one child, 12 years old, and losing, uh, or, or there is still uh, uh, losing a, a woman in his car. The river took it. So it's um, very, very difficult sometimes the water here, the rainy season. Reason number two, uh, the security issues here in Jalisco State. You know about the bad guys, what's happening here in, uh, in Jalisco State is more in Jalisco, but or like uh, more often crime here in Puerto Vallarta is bulgury or um, that somebody broke in your house and steal all your stuff. It's very often that this happened, especially in neighborhoods where it's more um, uh, deep on Puerto Vallarta, but in generally happens in all Puerto Vallarta. But this sometimes uh, you can fix this situation with um, security cameras. It's like um, uh, it's a warning for the thieves, so they can maybe um, they scare about the cameras because they they know that you have the system. And 
alarm system, something like that. But the, the, the biggest crime is burglary here in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, reason number three, the public transportation here in Puerto Vallarta, we have a lack of buses, uh, sometimes taxi drivers or Ubers or Didi drivers, sometimes it's not enough. So Puerto Vallarta becomes a very important town and a lot of people come in here. So especially in the high season that is from November to April, there is six months with a lot of people here uh, staying here in Puerto Vallarta and there is a huge demand uh, for public transportation. And you know, Uber DD is like private, but uh, sometimes it's getting difficult to get uh, some taxi drivers or even Uber or DD drivers to go um, to, um, to, to take you to anywhere here in Puerto Vallarta, okay? Other issue could be the prices for renting here in Puerto Vallarta. The reason number four, the high prices for renting here in Puerto Vallarta. And with the high prices come um, a difficult decision uh, what to choose if I, I need to choose a fully furnished property or not furnished um, property and I buy use one uh, furnitures um, because this is going to be your, your, your second home here in Puerto Vallarta or here in Mexico. So you need to think about the renting prices and, and people are going to take advantage of you because you are from Canada or from US or not part of the world and you are coming to rent here is not the same for the Mexican or for the locals. Me as a local for get a, a house here for living, my prices are starting from 200 US dollar per month to 500 uh, US dollar per month. I'm talking about uh, 4,000 Mexican pesos to 10,000. Uh, Mexican pesos monthly and it's a, a house with tr sometimes could be three rooms a backyard big patio kitchens um, two bedrooms it could be it could be possible but for me I don't mind to go much deeper on the city but maybe for you you want uh, access to uh, the beach access to the shopping centers or access to the markets very near from you and that's why it's difficult for the people who wants to move here in Puerto Vallarta to choose and, and, and they choose to have everything around you and that costs a lot of money. So for us as a, as a Mexican or locals, it's very easy to find cheapest prices, but for you it could be different and people can take advantage of that situation. Okay? And reason number five the accessibility here in Puerto Vallarta is almost none. It's like, uh, it's difficult for handicapped people or disabled people, like the, if you are using a wheelchair, wheelchairs uh, to move around Puerto Vallarta. Yes, we have the space of the parking areas for cars for uh, handicapped people, but this is not enough. Uh, we have the spaces for parking, but there is no ramp, so sometimes it's not um, makes sense. So it's gonna be difficult. A lot of people, disabled people, it's just living in in her houses, don't go outside. The buses are not prepared. We don't have infrastructure for move or to help those people to move. It's so difficult. The accessibility here. In Puerto Vallarta. So if you're thinking to retire here in Puerto Vallarta, it's gonna be easy. Just think about it, get uh, get more information. My recommendation is come here to Puerto Vallarta and um, have a um, uh, big picture. You can hire me and I can take you in my car to uh, get to know better Puerto Vallarta or all the bay. Okay, just email me or go to my website and contact me. Uh, that's all for now my friends. Thank you very much for your support. Like this video if you like it. If it's useful, please share with your friends and your family. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye.